This video is about how to configure Commando Air 1 series uh, CP 1K Plus and WB 301K which are outdoor bridge supports distance up to 1 km which has 4 modes of operations like AP Super WDS which is a default mode, repeater gateway modes and gives speed up to 300 Mbps bridge speed with encryption or open encryption like uh, WPA, WPA2, PSK, TKIP, AES encryption. It has inbuilt Wi Fi channel analysis. It complies with IEEE 802.11 B, G, and N standards and come with a single band 2.4 GHz wireless with inbuilt 11 dBi panel antenna with RF input power up to 100 mW. It has separate LAN port and WAN port having speed up to 100 Mbps and it has dual power input supply with 24 volt PoE power option as well as DC adapter 12 volt 0.5 ampere option. It comes with weatherproof IP65 casing. Uh, it also intelligently adjusts for the compatibility and optimal performance by dynamic frequency selection and we can set the channel bandwidth of 20 or 40 or 20 or 40 wireless bands. It supports uh, four bridges to be connected simultaneously. This uh, bridge can act as an AP as well as bridge simultaneously super WDS mode. We can also uh, create the bridge without taking access of this device. So for that there are some buttons on the device. F is a function button for selecting mode of operation. So either we can have master or we can have the slave mode with the help of F button. H, uh, if we select, the device will work as a master. If we select C, device will work as a slave. And S button for the selection option. So how to take the access of Commando Air 1, uh, CPA 1K Plus or WB uh, 301K. So for that, wired access as well as wireless access can be provided of this device. Firstly, we will discuss how to take the wired access with the help of LAN port. So power on Air 1, CP 1K plus or WB 301K with the help of adapter 12 volt 1 ampere or 24.5 uh, ampere or 12 volt PoE adapter in WAN port. Connect LAN port of uh, this uh, device to PC or the laptop with the help of RJ45 cable. Then open the network and sharing center. Go to Ethernet. Change the adapter option. Go to the properties of Ethernet connection. Go to the TCP IP property. Give the manual IP address 192.168.2 from 2 to 254 any of the IP address, let us say I use 10, subnet mask 255.255.255.0, default gateway 192.168.2.1. So after giving this IP address, go to any of the browser and type 192.168.188.2.1. So I will get the access of this uh, Air 1 WB 301K. Previous version is called as CP 1K and which is having IP address 192.168.188.253 and password for that was admin in small case. Password for this is commando in small case. After login to the device, you can see the home page. Similarly, we can have the Wi-Fi or wireless access of this device. So for that, similarly, we have to connect to the default SSID. So default SSID, you can see by default, this is a SSID with the password commando. We can change this SSID as per our choice. So for that, we have to connect to that default SSID. Let us say I want to connect to this SSID with default password commando. After connecting to this SSID, you can see that the user will be added in the home page here. And now 
this user is added we have to manually set the ip address for that ssid so that it will get the access so for that we have to similarly we have to give the ip address which we are given for the lan connection so you have to use those ip address and that connection will be wirelessly will form the connection with the same ip address in setup wizard we can set up the mode for the device so by default mode operation is super wds so we can scan the peripherals and scan the let us say commando cp 1k is there with the password uh, for that 66666 uh, 8x6 we can use the ip mode static ip ip from the ac gscp or get the ip from the gateway next we can change the ssid name let us say i want the ssid name as cmd 2g with channel width 40 channel uh, let us say 5 and password command to add the rate 123 the device will uh, configure your applications and we have to wait for at least 30 seconds to get it applied so in super WDS mode, it can act as a AP as well as bridge simultaneously with this name CMD 2G which we have set. So now I have connected, I am getting internet for this. In the home page, we can see that now super WDS mode is activated. I have connected a user cmd 2g and i can see the user uh, profile like uh, name mac address speed at which signal and connection time apart from that the set channel the encryption can be seen cpu usage uh, and memory also that device information can be seen we can also set the location let us say this is my uh, commando bridge usa location we can also see the WDS downstream and WDS upstream by red and green marking. We can also test the have the bandwidth test also for this device. We can give the IP addresses and accordingly the bandwidth test will be done for that duration. Then we can have the AP mode of operation also where we can get the IP address, LAN IP address, uh, we can set the gateway also. We can change the SSID name, channel, let us say 9 channel I want to use, Wi Fi password. So, for using it as an AP mode, the device work as an access point similar to the normal access point and transform your existing wired network to wireless network with the SSIDs and the password which we set. And the same SSID and password will be visible, which we set after, re uh, after rebooting, we are able to connect to this device. So it will take some time because I am doing it in live way. So it will come up. Now it has come live. I will put the default password commando. Now this user is connected in AP mode. So mode of operation is AP. So photo will suggest you how it works. So internet gateway wired way connected to any of the router or a, a switch or other devices and it is wired way connected in WAN port to this. Next mode of operation is the repeater mode of operation. We can scan the peripherals and can have the repeater mode of operation. Let us say ITM cabin we can put the password at command at the rate networks for that itm cabin ssid next we can have this wi-fi status on we can get the static ip or get the ip from the gateway or like that and after pressing next we can get the repeater mode where it acts as a wds the preferred mode of operation is super wds this repeater mode acts as a only WDS where it will extend the range of wireless coverage of existing Wi-Fi network where uh, the Wi-Fi dead zone or a place with V signal you want to have the larger effective range of the wireless signal throughout your home or office. 
then gateway mode in gateway mode uh, i can change the ssid let us say i want this as a gateway 2g gateway as a ssid password i can have the same i can i want 20 or 40 and we can also have the channel settings of four channel i want so i will go for the gateway mode now the device uh, will reboot and it will come up in gateway mode all the ethernets are bridged together and the wireless client will connect to isp access points or router connecting directly to the internet via wan port so nat is enabled uh, and pcs or the laptops in the ethernet lan share the same ip to isp through the wireless lan so this way we can have this uh, the device will come active yes now device has come live and we can have this cmd 2g gateway i will connect this device my pc to this uh, device the password commando at the rate 123 so after connecting the user count will increase and we can uh, see here yes now it is connected now getting internet via the gateway mode and the ip address and gateway dns and everything you can see you are able to get the internet via this mode gateway mode of operation so this way internet is connected to wan port and lan port is connected to my device then next is uh, wi fi settings so we can use the wi fi analyzer to have the wi fi setting we can change the ssid we can change the bandwidth channel wi fi password as per our choice we can have the mac acls so if i am having this user and allow access means this user only will be allowed access of this device all other users will be denied deny access means this user will be denied the access if i apply this so this user will not able to get the access of this device advance we, we can set the country region like fcc ic uae mkk 1 2 3 ncc russian and cn max clients we can set wlan partition short gi multicast fast high max and tx power maximum tx power is 100 milliwatt for this device with 11 db antenna panel antenna gain in uh, super wds in this we will have the repeater or uh, the wds setting options where i can scan the peripheral uh, ssids and can connect to that in wi fi setting network configuration uh, tab will give us uh, lan settings where i can set my access ips for this device spanning tree protocol is by default activated which will prevent the loop for formation in the network i can also set the dscp i can find my dscp clients we can also map the dscp learn to the static we can apply that so now this is statically binded this dscp we can also have the wan settings where we can have the mtu setting so if i set 1500 it will give the good performance for the network as well as i can set the upstream and downstream for this device apart from enabling web server access on the wan port then we can have the security center where we can set the url filters so let us say i want to uh, url filter for a particular website let us say my url commando networks.com i will create that you can see now i am connected via cmd 2g gateway mode and now i can able to get the access of uh, the internet commando networks.com 
via this uh, SSID CMD 2G gateway so I am able to get the access via this if I enable the URL filter function and apply then I am not able to get the access let us say I want to search again commando networks.com via the but I am not able to open this website because it is blocked by this uh, URL filter mechanism which I have created so it will never come up for this website then IP filter we can add the rule name like IP filter we can give the range of IP address from 192 to 192 to 192 to 192 port range 1 to 1025 and we want to say deny and after creating that we can deny the access or allow allow means that only will be allowed other will be denied deny means that particular range will be denied if I apply I can also have the MAC filters so rule name So I can scan also for particular Mac and apply. I can allow the access to this only and I can deny the access by applying this. If I apply then only it will be denied like this. If I remove the URL filter then this website again will have the access uh, from my network we can also have the port mappings can have the port mappings uh, for LAN we can scan also external port internal port we can say deny apply and then enable port mapping and apply this will be applied then DMZ we can have we can enable the DMZ host IP to provide internal network with the additional security layer by restricting the access. So we can apply that. We can change or scan any of the IP address and apply. So this will uh, add a security to our network. Then in device management tab, we can take the backup like this. We can restore the backup so we can restore like that we can reset to factory default we can reboot the device we can have the time reboot so for uh, every day or for any day and any time we can have the restored interval also we can modify the password default password is commando in small case we can make it to other passwords so that when we want to access the device the new password will be asked we can upgrade the firmware by choosing the firmware files we can have the time set with the help of sync with the host option or otherwise if this is connected to internet we can also have the NTP time server let us say we have selected this time server and NTP time we will get by default logs are out uh, we can make it on and we can see what are the log we can send this log to other devices this device purposely make log off so that the memory will not be wasted in storing so much of log generated by any of the wireless devices we can also have the flow control so we can add the IP address or scan the IP address we can have the upstream and downstream uh, 1000 kbps for this uh, range of users and apply so this users will only get 1000 mbps uh, kbps bandwidth only for upstream and downstream which we created we can have the ip group so range of ip address can be given the name and they can be set as a group group ip and these groups can be ip groups can be used anywhere in other filters we can also create the time group let us say commando time group from 9 we can use this uh, in the any of the settings IP blocking and all 
this time range let us say deny for particular time so this adds the security to your device so your wi-fi will be accessed for that time we can also have the ddns settings where it provides a fixed domain names for ddns clients and map it latest ip address to the domain name so we can have that function also configured with the commando cp 1k or air 1 1 uh, 300 mbps wv thank you